this is a point that I've been trying to make over and over again. I did a video that said pedophiles are born that way. Science says. They are born, not made. They're born with a gene. Even though some people were molested, that some that weren't. And it raises a question, how did they even get that way to begin with? So, here's one example of it. Take off the mask. what I think a perfect example of. Aside from what the scientist was saying, the geneticist and the person, who, this uh, psychiatrist type of scientist, this clip from the movie 8 Millimeter shows a perfect example of how people are genetically born that way. They were never molested and they, they, come, they come from the most normal, seemingly normal type of family. There's some cases where they have been beaten and molested and stuff like that, yes. Or been exposed to uh, pornographic material when they were a young age by an uncle or an aunt or something within, somebody within the family that actually messed them up, you know, seriously messed them up in the head. However, there are some People who haven't gone through any type of abuse whatsoever and they and they just see at a young age at 9, 10, 11 years old for some strange reason they have this abnormal obsession towards pornography and anything that's considered underground slowly by degrees to get into it and nothing ever happened to them as far as being beaten or raped molested or whatever, you know, the list goes on and on. So, this is, consider this as part two. Even though that scene from the movie, he wasn't a pedophile. He was a, even though he did kill a 17 or 18 year old girl. For those of you who have seen, who have seen that movie. And he, he did a lot of bad things. He says, I do them because I like them, because I want to. This is, there's no mystery. It's just, this is just how I am. That's what he was saying to him. And a lot of people find it very hard to believe. They find it hard that someone, if someone is just born that way. They think that it's just a cop-out, but it's not a cop-out. It's known to be true. Now, whether someone's a pedophile or whether someone is a... Uh, a regular rapist or someone who's just into sadistic shit. You know, very, you know, sick, fucked up people that are into uh, this type of shit. All it really is, is just, all it shows is an example that some people, who knows how much, as far as percentage-wise, I really don't know, are just 
basically born that way. In my opinion, I guess, if, if, uh, which I made a point in my other video, every person who's uh, a pedophile, every person who's a rapist, every, every person who's into like sadistic type of shit, they have to be born with some kind of gene to begin with. And regardless of whether or not they've been abused, they're, they're going to find an obsession with it. Of course, if you are abused, it will make it worse. But of course, there's also this um, small, I don't know, I don't know how to know percentage-wise. Again, I don't know. There are some people that have not gotten molested or, or beaten or anything like that. And they have done sick, twisted, horrifying things. That is the point that I'm trying to make. And, well, someone would raise the question, well if, well, if that's true, then what can be done to these people? Especially if the gene gets passed on to their to their offspring. I mean, what are going to do? Just lock them all up? You know, that kind of thing. There is this other scientist who says that it is possible. But it's just a question of whether or not it's going to be, if anyone wants to do it. That's the only question. Which is, there is there is a scientific procedure where, not just with that type of gene, but with any kind of uh, gene, like the warrior gene, people that um, get angry very easily, they like to compete, they, they like to fight, they, they get they get they act all high and mighty, like their shit don't stink, which are usually thugs, punks, and troublemakers. And a lot of uh, people have that, and unfortunately, uh, Blacks and Hispanics have it the highest, not the highest, but the second highest. And Italian Americans have it high, um, the highest, as far as being punks or, or quick tempered type people. But that's something separate. That is something completely separate. Now, with uh, with sex offenders, a procedure is done where they find the gene, they, they, they locate it, they isolate it. And they extract the gene, they extract it out, and then they, re they replace it with a healthy gene. Gene extraction, they call it. And it is possible to do it, but it's just it's just a question of whether or not someone wants to. Who knows it? Because they might say they call it. Well, it's uh, it's it's experimental. It may not work, which is bullshit. It can work. And it's whether or not they want to spend the money for it. Because it costs money. And since, uh, you know, people don't want to take a chance because uh, for, for whatever the reason. There is another procedure in which this one guy, Dr. James Fallon, he said that for real bad impulses and, and when they can't control something, whether it doesn't matter what, what type of uh, condition they have. Uh, there is um, a, a powder that they could um, snort up, you know, just like cocaine. They snort up in, a, in, in this healthy DNA. You snort up that this particular of uh, this substance is powder. And for, of course, for a period of time, it, it corrects the problem to the um, prefrontal cortex. It, 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 it can cr controls the person's impulses, uh, depending on what type of bad thing they have, whether it's the warrior gene or whether it's um, the pedophile gene uh, or whether it's, you know, this, uh, well, all these type of genes that has to do with that sex offenders are, are very much well known for, the type of severe problems that they have. And it, it does sound, it does sound crazy. It, it sounds like it's pretty far out, like, like, come on, something like that is uh, a drug that actually, uh, that has healthy DNA. Yes, it is possible. He even made it clear. Now, okay, now it's this is the thing that this is the point that I'm really trying to make. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Questions or comments, you know what to do. And to all of you, take care.